Essentially, this conference speaks of contemporary judicial developments and strengthening justice through law and technology. The word contemporary is very important because it does not speak about the work which we do in the abstract, but in the context of contemporary societal challenges which we as judges face in the work which we do. We therefore look at law and its intersection of technology from the perspective of the societal conditions in which those whom we serve exist in our societies. Because the true merit of our work lies in addressing the challenges faced by those at whose feet we are intended to serve, namely the common citizens of India. The first important theme that we are going to discuss is the principle of constitutional morality. Now, if you look at the Constitution, the text of our Constitution does not use the expression constitutional morality. This phrase, into inverted commas, constitutional morality is not found anywhere in the Constitution. The Constitution uses the expression morality, but it does not use the expression constitutional morality. Now, all of you may be asking a basic question, which is why are we discussing a phrase which is not used in the Constitution at all? What is the relevance to district judges, high court judges, to the officers of the state, to civil society, of a phrase which is not used in the Constitution? The Constitution uses the expression morality, but morality in the Constitution is used as a restraint on fundamental rights. The Constitution allows for restrictions to be imposed by law on the right to freedom of speech and expression under Article 19.1a by Article 19.2 on various grounds including morality. Likewise, the Constitution contemplates that restrictions can be imposed on the right to freedom of association inter alia on grounds of morality. So morality in Article 19.2 and Article 19.4 is a restraint on the rights of the citizens. Is that the morality that we speak of when we talk about constitutional morality? Now, that's one of the basic questions which we have to address. If constitutional morality has not been addressed in the Constitution as a textual expression, what is the value addition to the constitutional discourse that we in a regional conference, a high-powered conference of senior judges from across the region are discussing this concept. There's a first question which I must very briefly try and make you all perhaps reflect on. How do you define what is undefined and what is not explicitly stated in the Constitution? Who will define the concept of constitutional morality? The preambular values the values which the constitutional preamble sets out. But if these rights have already been enunciated elsewhere in the Constitution, then why constitutional morality?